and because my shop's here in Kansas City, and I'd done a lot of prints with Luis, and because that sculpture was here in Kansas City, he wanted to do a print or some prints related to that particular sculpture. And as you know, animals were animals were one of his common themes. He did a lot of prints with using animals in both social political situations and narratives. And sometimes just images of animals by themselves. Some of his most famous prints are images of snakes, ravens, so on, coyotes. Uh, but the, you, this particular print we did, this is not a finished print, basically, is the issue of this print. This was the key drawing, the keystone. We actually did two prints, two eagle prints that are similar or related but different. And they, uh, they're both related to the eagle sculpture. These, and they both are the key drawings for what were intended to be multicolor prints. If you've seen some of his multicolor prints, they're really rich and loaded with color. And this was just, in, this line drawing was intended to be the keystone for what were, what eventually was going to be a multicolor, multi-plate print. Uh, we got the keystones for both prints done and uh, the proofs approved, signed off on. And we were waiting for him to come back to the shop uh, when he, to make the color plates when he died. So we sat on the stones for uh, two years waiting for our state battle to get worked out. And then finally, we, we didn't want to destroy the image because it was really beautiful drawing. As Kathy said, he was an extraordinary draftsman. Um, I mean, this is pure not looking at anything. You don't look at them. this is all internalized imagery. He uh, uh, it's all spontaneous drawing without looking at pictures of animals to draw them or anything. Uh, we sat on the stone, the keystones. I didn't want to lose the images. I talked to the estate, but the estate went back and forth through different executors and family fights and so on. Until somebody settled long enough that we could make some decisions about the print, and we agreed. I didn't want to lose that image, and the estate didn't want to lose it, so we agreed to print editions of both of the prints in black and white, just to, just in the key state. Uh, and signed this. So the estate has signed off on this. There is an estate stamp. His signature is not on the print. There's an, a wet stamp on the back that has the signature of the, of the estate executor at the time that, that the piece was released. It's also registered with the American Artists Association's cop and the copyright is registered with the American Artists Association of New York. And it has a, both a wet stamp and a blind stamp uh, stating the authority of the uh, Luis Jimenez estate. The subject matter is this particular eagle is a European style eagle used in logos and, and uh, with shields of honor in, in Europe, and it's the eagle that's on the Mexican. It's very different. The other print is an American eagle, very obviously an American eagle. This eagle is the eagle that's on the Mexican flag and the Mexican national symbol, fighting with a snake, and the snake and eagle images are archetypes of the tension on the border between Mexico and the United States. Of the two images we did related to the eagle sculpture, this is the more overtly political one, but the concertina, it's all about the tensions on the border. The concertina wire, and if you look up closely, there are worn out shoes, water bottles, uh, spent bullet shells on the ground in the desert that are left behind by people trying to cross into Arizona across the border or in some cases dying and the Border Patrol tracking them down by finding thrown away water bottles and wash shoes and so on. The image that sort of looks like sunglasses on the other side of the print is actually a drawing of uh, I can't remember the name, but it's 
some of you may know what this is, uh, but there are the stone um, yokes that the tri tribal Mayans would wear in the uh, rubber ball in the in the ball games on the ball courts, the hard rubber balls, uh, and they're found in, in uh, remnants of, of them exist, and uh, they're in. You see them in drawings of Maya. 